So really, things that we can do to stay mentally active is really to stay curious, to read and write, do crosswords and puzzles and Sudoku. All those things are really good for challenging our brain, attending lectures, providing creative arts. And I mean, certainly here at the Pawing Match, there's lots of opportunities to learn some different skills, um, to take part in the different tents as well. Um, commit to lifelong learning. Play some intellectual games. For those of you that are sort of technologically um, maybe challenged or gifted, either way, um, for those that are challenged, I really encourage you to sort of access the internet. There's fabulous um, brain teasing opportunities there and different sites that you can um, continue to develop those strengths. Learn a musical instrument. And then set, lastly, not relying on technology to do all of our thinking. So that's just one piece. So the second piece is that we also need to take care of our bodies, and we can do that by walking. Walking is a really um, great activity, and so if we walk less than a quarter mile a day, it does increase our risk of Alzheimer's disease, so I just encourage you to spend 30 minutes a day just going for a walk. Exercise your body and brain. Uh, dancing, it's our memory and fitness, so use it or lose it. And I just really encourage that those small steps. So even if you think, oh, I really can't get out too far, it's pretty challenging, or I've got some pain or some changes in my body, just to take those small steps, because it really does lead to future strides for future health. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about feeding your brain, because I'm running out of time, but I just wanna encourage you to um, decrease your risk of, or decrease the fat that you do take in, um, because that does increase our risk of dementia to eat well, eat lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, whole fruits, um, cold fish, those are all good brain healthy foods. And practice safe stress as well. So try to kind of get your stress under control, um, ensure that you know, you're kind of doing things to beat that stress because that can lead to an increased risk of dementia as well. So um, the third one is to stay socially connected. So especially if you live alone, I think this is one of the bigger challenges, but to make sure that, um, you know, if you have a friend of someone that is living alone, to give them a call, get them out, because that can certainly help decrease the risk of dementia as well. Um, connect with family, connect with friends. And lastly is protecting your head. Um, protecting your head either from falls, um, from, you know, if you're a skateboarder or you're a rollerblader or whatever you do for fun, but I think especially as we age, that risk of falls is huge and can lead to many serious consequences, including premature admission to long-term care. So take a look around your home, see if you have those slippery skid mats. Um, perhaps you need to add some grab bars and it's my little opportunity to say, don't be so proud, just add them because if it's gonna help you stay on your feet as you're getting in the door, it's far better than a fall. So just be aware of some of those things in your home that you can change as well. And really, that's our four, our four ways that we can live and hopefully age with vitality. So we're going to continue to be intellectually engaged. We're going to choose a really healthy lifestyle or start to make changes towards that. And again, those small changes, those small strides can lead to huge changes in our future health. We're going to stay socially connected personally, picking up the phone, getting together with friends, and lastly, we're going to protect our heads and our physical bodies. If you or someone you know could benefit from the services at the Alzheimer's Society, or if you'd like to get involved and become a volunteer, please visit your local Alzheimer's Society.